Hey guys, so give me one second. There we go, give me one second, I wanna share this. Okay, so I just wanted to come on and show you guys what I'm having for lunch, and it's not so much about the salad, but as about the tools that I'm using to make this salad. Um, this is gonna be a great meal, even if you can't take a knife to work, this um, salad cutting bowl still works. So to get it all ready, the other day I made some hard boiled eggs in our quick cooker, and you can make six eggs in like, let's see, if I, do, I don't do what the book calls for. I do five minutes of cook time, five minutes of natural release, and then I put them in an ice bath for five minutes. So 15 minutes, and check out how easy these eggs are to peel. We're gonna go and get to it. So look at this, it just falls off. Of course, the other day I did not do the five, five, five and five. I did them a little bit longer because I got distracted. Yeah, let's be honest. But usually they fall right off in like two pieces. There we go. So I am going to put this in. Yeah, apparently don't let them sit more than the five because this is harder than I've ever done. All right. Um, there, have my egg peeled. Woo! So you can do, um, if you get one of the racks that goes in it, you can do 12 eggs at a time. Um, then I'm gonna put it in our salad cutting bowl so you can take it to work but just like this. Take the top lid off. And this has stuff that you don't want to get soggy, like your croutons. It has a little container for your salad dressing. Of course, you've got your fork and spoon set that if you are eating out of our make and take mason jar, you can flip the spoon set around so you can reach all the way in the bottom of the jar. You can keep your cheese in there, anything that you don't want to get soggy. And then the next layer has my lettuce, some spinach, some cucumber, my ham or chicken or whatever you want. I'm gonna put my egg in there too. And I'm actually going to take all of this out and use this base as my cutting board. So I was gonna show you, um, I can just throw my whole egg in there to cut it up or you can use a little egg slice slicer, which is perfect for one egg or one strawberry, or you can use our quick slice, which you can do a couple of eggs, four or five strawberries at one time. It's great for making veggie trays because you can make strips of veggies, or you can make a strip, pick it up, turn it a quarter of a turn, put it back on, and then dice it. Super easy and fast if you don't have the kitchen knife skills like you see the chefs on TV using chop, chop, chop really fast. This is fast to me. So I'm gonna throw my egg back in there, turn everything over and take the bowl off. And then I'm gonna turn this until it clicks. If you can hear it. You can't really hear it, but turn it until it clicks into position. And then you want a knife with at least a seven inch blade. I'm gonna be using our coated knife, but um, just so you guys know, if you need a good quality knife, our stainless, knives or German steel. The blade goes all the way through the handle. These things are amazing with a lifetime warranty and um, they're so heavy, they do the work for you. I mean, I don't mean so heavy, I just mean they're heavier than the coated knife. They'll do the hard prep work for you. But take the knife and then I'm gonna start in the middle and cut down each little section And then when you've got it all chopped up that way, turn it around, do the other side. And you can chop it up as fine as you want. 
I may stop because the last time I did it, it was really fine. So you can actually um, go ahead and do this part at home, cut it up, and then dump it into your bowl and take it with you that way if you work in a school or somewhere where you're not allowed to take this big old knife. Um, turn it in and it's gonna click and I'm gonna do the same thing. So rather than dicing my cucumber up, I get to do it all at one time. So then I'm gonna take this and dump it right into my bowl and it's ready to go. But before I do that, I wanna show you some other stuff. So I'm gonna stick this out of the way and we gotta get some cheese, right? What's a salad without cheese? I can't, I can't. I can't eat a salad without cheese. So I'm gonna use our uh, microplane coarse grater. It comes with this handy dandy little cover. So if you keep it in a drawer, you don't have to worry about grating your fingernails and getting it out of the drawer. And then the trick to this, this is a bar that goes through the handle. So to open it, use your right hand and slide the bar to the side so you can open it into a V shape or open it all the way up and you can grate your cheese right over the bowl. So I am going to use it for my carrot for my salad. And then I've got a block of cheese. Always, always, always grate your own cheese. Keep the preservatives and stuff out of your food that they um, like to put in there to keep the cheese from clumping together, make it last longer. Create your own big block of cheese. You guys know you can stick it in the freezer to keep it from, um, to keep it fresh and to keep it until you need it. It's gonna melt better, it's gonna taste creamier, and you're gonna get more for your money. All right, you guys, that's it. I just wanted to show you what I'm having for lunch. Tell me what you're having, I'd love to know. Maybe it's something I wanna try. I love to share recipes. If you are watching this and you're attending somebody's Pampered Chef party, be sure to use their order link to place your order. Otherwise, you can order it on my website, www.pamperedchef.biz forward slash Christy Dodge. Join my team and get some of these items in your kit, well, in your kit when you join or host your own party. I would love to help you stock your kitchen with all these great time-saving tools. All right, you guys, have a great day and I'll see you soon.